Ahead of our court case, I thought it might be useful for us to run through 10 reasons why HS2 is appalling, unnecessary and already redundant. I've tried to stick to areas of my own expertise. Here we go. Number one. We're in a climate emergency. And the UK government's goal is to reach net zero emissions by 2050. That's less than 30 years. HS2's own figures, though, show it won't be carbon neutral until well into the next century. Number two, it's more of a plane than a train. HS2's rhetoric of getting people out of cars and planes and onto trains simply doesn't wash when a primary reason for building HS2 is to enable large-scale airport expansion that most likely can't happen at Heathrow. Number three, we're in an ecological emergency and yet HS2 will destroy almost 700 wildlife sites including well over 100 ancient woodlands and 33 sites of special scientific interest. Number four, endangered species. Let's just name a few. Willow tit, black hair streak, dingy skipper butterflies, the Bechstein's bat, the white clawed crayfish, hedgehogs, barn owls, and countless others that will be displaced or destroyed by this project. Number five, water. HS2's construction is set to drain huge quantities of water. Their tunnel boring work is predicted to need between six and 10 million litres a day. An aquifer supplying a large quantity of London drinking water is at risk, and rare chalk streams with their unique and intricate ecosystems are all set to be lost. Number six, tearing open the countryside. HS2 quite literally paves the way for infrastructure development of the very worst kind. It can't even meet its own promise of no net loss of biodiversity, and it's already proven they aren't capable of planting a tree when hundreds of thousands of those they've already planted have died. Number seven. Vast sums of taxpayers' money is being used to destroy nature. Already massively over budget, at well over 100 billion, HS2 is the most expensive job creation scheme in history, with many of its executives earning six-figure salaries. When Boris recently announced an additional five billion to build, 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 five billion, he neglected to mention the 100 plus billion being spent on HS2. Number eight, HS2 is already obsolete. HS2's latest business case doesn't take into consideration the effects of COVID-19. Business users are key to HS2 and this market has now all but disappeared. HS2 is obsolete before it's even really started. A far smarter investment at this time would be super high-speed broadband for all. Number nine, it's taking us in the wrong direction. You see, now more than ever, people need more effective local transport solutions. As life has relocalised in the face of the pandemic risk, we need to improve and upgrade the transport systems we already have so they're fit to meet the urgent needs of the climate and ecological emergency when we can move forwards into a more sustainable and healthier future for everyone. Number 10. HS2 is severing our connections to the land. The human tragedy of HS2 simply cannot be escaped. So many families have been evicted, torn from their homes, generations uprooted, tens of thousands of bodies have been exhumed from the ground, communities have been destroyed, and in many cases HS2 haven't even paid for their land grabs. They've been cheating the property owners. Number 11, yep, a bonus one. Destroying democracy. And HS2 is a classic case of top-down democracy, where central government decides it knows best and local voices are completely ignored. Projects like HS2 set a dangerous precedent for development and democracy going forwards, leaving our countryside wide open to rampant development. Let's be very clear, HS2 is destroying some of our most beautiful, ancient and valuable habitat. In an age where we're tearing down statues, we mustn't forget that they're out there tearing down beautiful old oak trees like this one. It's time to stop HS2.
before it's too late. It's time to think of a more sustainable, harmonious and healthy future for ourselves and for the future of our planet's environment. Yes, right, okay. For a hundred billion pounds, you could increase capacity and modernise the entire existing British rail network top to bottom, from Inverness to the Channel Tunnel. A rail network that is the envy of the world that encourages people out of their cars and down We're from the skies. To and inform you that there are delays oh, after the sake.